Hello children, I am Sujata Bhattacharya. I will teach you biology and this chapter is included in class 7. So this chapter is for class 7 students. Please children, there is no school, no teaching but you have to study in your home. Be safe. Now I am starting my chapter. There is the topic is respiration in animal. Everyone you know, respiration is a very active and needful activity for our life. So that's why we should know about the respiration. Now, respiration. Respiration, it is the process of releasing energy. How? By the breakdown of food or glucose which are present in our cell. This is the actual definition of the respiration. Now, according to definition, respiration leads to some stages because in one step it can't be possible to complete. So, there are two stages of respiration. First stage is breathing. Second stage is internal respiration. As we know, Breathing is the physical process because we can understand or we can feel from the outside by upward and outward movement of chest and inward and outward movement of the shoulder. So, breathing is the intake of oxygen and inhalation or inhalation of oxygen and exhalation of carbon dioxide. Both these steps will form the breathing. Now come to the second chapter. Second is internal respiration. Internal as the name suggests. Internal means this happens inside the cell. So the name is given internal respiration. Now about the internal respiration. Internal respiration is the brain reaction with the glucose of oxygen in presence of either cytoplasm or in the mitochondria. It occurs in the cytoplasm or in the mitochondria. Now, this is the internal respiration. Now, internal respiration we need that is glucose. If glucose burns along with the oxygen, then the respiration is said to be aerobic respiration. Then how we can define it? In aerobic respiration, glucose will burn or oxidize with the presence of oxygen and form carbon dioxide, water molecule and 38 molecules of ATP. ATP is the adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate is the energy currency of living body. So, now we come to anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration which leads without requirement of oxygen. So, glucose directly will burn or glucose directly will be dissociated into two compounds. Lactic acid and ATP if it occurs in animal cell and this glucose will be ox decomposed into ethyl alcohol or ethanol and carbon dioxide. It occurs in the plant cell. This anaerobic respiration in plant cell also called as fermentation. This process we will use to make that dokla and any other things where we need some fluffy material. So, this fermentation will occur in presence of plant cell. And plant cell will release also two molecules of ATP. But in animal cell, there is no release of CO2. Now, for today this is over. Now, tomorrow I will come again with the next part of it. Thank you children.